The goal of a risk assessment is to determine where an organization may be most exposed or where something bad might happen that could hurt the organization's ability to deliver on its intended mission. The quality of all other security assessments will improve if you're using the results of a recent risk assessment as one of your key inputs. When you're conducting a risk assessment, your goal will be to identify threats and vulnerabilities that could potentially harm the organization. Knowing the difference between a threat and a vulnerability is essential. Fortunately, we can turn to NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, to help us better understand that difference. NIST considers a threat to be a circumstance or event that could damage the confidentiality, integrity, or availability of information or information systems. That means if something or someone could expose an organization's secret information, stuff like intellectual property or customer personal information, or if that thing could make changes without the proper approvals, or if that person could take a web application offline, well, then that's a threat. A vulnerability is a weakness that enables the threat to be successful. A missing security patch is a great example of a vulnerability. So was a default admin password still in use on some internet-facing web portal. When it comes to availability, the fact that a data center is located in an area prone to flooding or tornadoes is an example of a physical vulnerability. During your risk assessment, you'll identify the threats and vulnerabilities about which the organization should be concerned, and then you'll score the potential likelihood and the potential impact of each risk. Likelihood is the probability that a threat might actually succeed in exploiting a vulnerability. Let's look at malware as an example. What's the likelihood that your laptop will get infected with a virus? Well, it depends on a number of things, doesn't it? Do you run an antivirus program? Do you use your laptop to access the internet? Do you open email attachments from people you don't know? As you ask relevant questions about each threat and about how exposed you might be to different attack vectors, it should become apparent whether or not the risk you're considering is highly likely to do harm highly unlikely, or somewhere in between. That's why NIST relies on a high, medium, low scale when scoring risks. You also need to consider the impact, though, to get an accurate risk score. If your laptop gets infected with malware, well, that'll make for a bad day for you. But what if the entire server network at your company gets infected with malware? The impact of an incident like that would be much more expensive since it impacts a lot more people. NIST follows the same low, medium, high scoring methodology for the impact as it does for likelihood. All you have to do is combine the two scores, often through a simple math equation, and voila, you have a risk score. If you've never conducted a risk assessment, my advice to you is that you don't get caught up in the details just yet. Again, the goal of a risk assessment is to prioritize risks so that you can take the necessary action to reduce those scores to an acceptable level based on the leadership team's risk appetite. When preparing for an upcoming risk assessment, make sure to do your research. Verizon's Data Breach Investigations Report has a lot of real-world data on actual security incidents that resulted in data breaches, and so does the Privacy Rights Clearinghouse chronology of data breaches. You can also turn to Industry-Specific Information Sharing and Analysis Centers, or ISACs, for threat and vulnerability information relevant to your specific industry. You can even turn to your internal IT service management system for historical help desk ticket information. As a matter of fact, I highly recommend that you do just that before embarking on your first risk assessment. At the end of the day, 
you should have a report that contains a prioritized list of information security risks that your leadership team will want you to keep a close eye on. <laughs>